I got a question for black people. How many more murders, how much more oppression are you going to allow before you get the picture? Peaceful protest has never helped anything. They allow you to do that because they know that's how far your pussy ass gonna go. They know that you depending upon the white dollar. They know that you most likely working for a white man. They know that you can only go so far. So that's why they allow you to peacefully protest and march. When are you going to get the picture? Sandra Bland, George Floyd, Mike Brown, Philando Castile. How far back do we need to go? Let's get straight to the point. Since the beginning of this country, your life, your existence has been targeted. When are you going to get the picture? You want a motherfucker to stop oppressing you, stop targeting you, stop profiling you, stop being racist, stop doing this, that, and the third. Shoot some shit then. I'm so sick and tired of all you fake ass pro-black motherfuckers, you fake ass gang members, you fake ass gangsters. All you motherfuckers is bitches. I'm talking to every single one of you. Blood, crib, GD, BD, I don't give a flying fuck. You contribute nothing. Every single one of your gangs, every single one of your sets and clicks was created to protect this community and you bitches do nothing. That includes you pro-black individuals. I see y'all everywhere on this internet. You dance around the real shit. You dance around because you trying to protect the bag. You want to make sure you don't lose monetization. Fuck they motherfucking dollar. You want to stop a motherfucker from oppressing you? Kill him. I don't give a flying fuck how much time they get at bitch. He should be dead. And while you're at it, bury his kids and his mama and his father with him. You want to talk real shit? Let's talk real shit then. Let's talk about how black people really pussy. Let's talk about how you scared of them white folks. So you only talk about peacefully protesting and marching because you scared of the real shit. You scared of jail. You scared of prison. You scared of death. So you dance around and beat around the bush trying to act like you pro black when the real shit is ain't no peacefully protest. Ain't no marching going to help nothing. Never has. Never will. Get used to it, bitch, because if you're too afraid to up a fucking gun, you're going to continue to be a slave. Your children going to continue to be a slave. Your mama going to continue to be a slave. Your daddy going to continue to be a slave. And it ain't going to never change until you learn to prioritize your blackness over your convenience. Do not message me nor DM me about marches and peaceful protests. You bitch ass, pussy ass motherfuckers. Come get me when it's time to drag a motherfucker out of courtroom. Come get me when it's time to really strategize on how to take a motherfucker family out. Come get me when it's really time to handle some real shit. Don't talk to me otherwise. I'm so sick and tired of you bitches. You motherfuckers run shit into the ground over the easiest, simplest shit. The solution is right in front of your fucking face. Stop asking me the same question over and over again. It's right there. We need structure, unity, and everything else for falling into place after that. If you are unwilling to do what it takes to attain those two things, shut the fuck up up you're not pro-black you're just another cowardly bitch with a microphone what you all are is slaves you dance around it but you won't confront it because you're a coward the fact of the matter is that this country was created by criminals and crooks that created laws that they already broke to get where they're at they created those laws and conditioned and brainwashed you into following them because it's in their best interest that you do. It benefits them the most, the elite the most that you do. As long as you obey, as long as you abide by the laws created by criminals and crooks and tyrants, you will always be a slave. Ain't no way around it. You can't pray your way out of this. You can't march your way out of this. You can't donate to your church a way out of this. There is nothing you can do other than either shut up or learn to shoot, gather some information, Gather some of your brothers and sisters, find the one that's violating and kill him. That's the only way you get respect. I have no new information for you. I told you in the last video what we should do. I told you in the video before that what we should do. I told you in the video and the video and the video and the video before that what we should do. It is up to you 
Y'all control who gets the clout. Y'all control who gets funding. Y'all control everything in this community. Everything is controlled by y'all. And there's no way around it. You want this community to heal. You want this community to be respected. You want this community to be able to thrive and evolve and do everything it needs to do to create peace and tranquility. One, money will need to be spent and that money cannot come from white people. Two, y'all are going to have to choose either one person or a few or a whole round table of people to lead this community. There's no way around it nitpicking, being overly picky about the leaders, the potential leaders that we got only hurts you. Three, before we can open up schools or museums or any other that useless ass shit, we need military bases. We need land. We need farms. Those things are a thousand times more important than a school or a museum. Because if you can't protect the fucking school, if you can't protect none of your assets, then what the fuck is the point of having the asset? That's how our ancestors got genocided and mass murdered and tortured and raped in the first goddamn place. Because we built up everything out of nothing. We had our own pharmacies and banks and communities and neighborhoods. And guess what? The white men came in because it was working so fucking well. The white men came in and burned it all down and killed a, a lot of our ancestors. So now how you fix that is you start with the defenses. If you're unwilling to do that, Shut your bitch ass up and move out the way. I don't have time to be talking to you fake pro black ass bitches that just want clout, that just want money, that just want to use this community all to one day disappear and leave us hanging.